Kia ora, Chrissy back again, and we're going to get into the next episode of House of the Dragon. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. So last time we had the Burning Mill. Uh, we ended off with Rhaenyra meeting up with Alicent at the Sept uh, and kind of making her realise that the last words that uh, Viserys has said to her uh, about Aegon was about Aegon the Conqueror, not about her son. Uh, but no matter what, it's too late for, for Alison to do anything, so she says. Um, so I don't know what Rhaenyra is going to do now that she can't get through to Alison in that way. Uh, in Harren Hall, Daemon has been having some visions. Uh, he saw a young Rhaenyra and then the woman there whoever she was told him that he was going to die at Harren Hall which was interesting. <laughs> uh, Rhaenyra has sent um, Raina um, and her young kids and uh, the younger dragons plus four dragon eggs uh, away to protect them. We had Laris become the master of whisperers, we had uh, Aegon walk in on uh, um, Aemond uh, with Sylvie, which was which was a thing, uh, and we got Bela uh, with Moondancer uh, running down um, to Christian and and Alison's brother, whose name I've forgotten, uh, as they are also trying to make their way. I think they're going to Harren Hall as well. Um, so yeah, a few things, but the main thing, um, yeah, that I came away with was uh, Rhaenyra coming, kind of coming to the realization that things have progressed too far and uh, she's not going to be able to I think settle things peacefully with Alison so we're going to get into the next episode if you'd like the full length reaction to this episode as well as others in the series and other shows then you can go to my patreon the link will be down in the description box below other than that let's get into it he's going through it with his nightmares This is definitely a dream. I can't understand. Stop. Stop. <gasps> Whoa, why? Why has he got blood? Why has he got blood on his hands? Slept well, I trust. Aegon's army departed King's Landing a fortnight ago. The castles of Rosby and Stokeworth have both fallen without siege. Ooh. They have raised Aegon's banner and added their levies to Sir Christian Cole's host. Even if you can raise a host of rivermen. It will not be ready in time to face him. A goat? Is that to feed the dragon? This is Sir Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. His Grace, the King Consort Daemon Targaryen. It is an honour, Your Grace. Indeed. No, oh, he's just a boy. Sadly, he remains incapacitated. He lies in a kind of waking sleep. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. <laughs> Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverlands? While he still lives? That is not our way. Then you're of no use to me. Summon the Blackwoods here. I require men of action to lead my host of rivermen. Ask the oh poor boy, you just don't know what you're fucking getting into. And you are Alan? Yes, Princess. I'm given to understand my lord husband owes you his life. Your mother must have been very beautiful. Very nice. <clears throat> I see. You did not think to mention it. That's his I son. I did not think it relevant. But not to her. I know who he is, Corliss. 
I came to tell you that Baylor has called me to Dragonstone. That counselor's going to dine on her and Jace for supper. They grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Oh, they were so lovey-dovey in the previous episode. Ah, oh, stupid. As requested. I brewed it myself. Do report if the recipient has need of any remedy that he is known to disagree with the gut. I shall observe the girl closely. Oh, is this the uh, abortive tea for her? Mm-hmm. So Kristen Cole's host has taken to exploiting the tree cover to conceal its movements. You should have burned them when you had the chance. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight them on your dragon. <laughs> An enemy host growing in constitution marches somewhere in the vastness of the Crown Lands. We could perhaps act if only we had a host of our own. This council is rudderless. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, Princess? We need to raise alliances and command our vassals, but they are gone. What has come of this council? Oh. My lord. Is there naught to be done in the absence of the Queen but to grouse and claw for power? All who bend the knee to the true king, Egon will be spared. You can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the whore of Dragonstone. Is there no honor left in this world, Cole? Nope. Sacking your queen's own castles and putting up people to the sword? You're not fit for the White Cloak. God's sake. I realize you were neither born nor bred anywhere near the Crown Lands, my good Lord Han. But Harren Hall is to the west. Indeed it is. The fuck, fuck you. <laughs> I told you we should have sent our dragons, and now look what's happened. Damon, of all people, has taken Harren Hall. Well, that castle is more crippled than I am, Your Grace. Decides to drive Damon to madness as he attempts to make use of it, which is beyond his faculties. I need to be informed of these things if I'm to make informed rulings. Oh, honey, you really think you're in charge here? So Kristen is marching on Rook's Rest. After Cole smashes it, we'll have Dragonstone effectively cut off by land. Oh, he's clever. Have him turn about. I want Harrenhal back. Cole is already preparing his attack. Uh, how how do you know this? You sent me. Oh, honey. To you. You're a nobody here. You are useless. Harren Hall is a useful morass. It will keep Damon well occupied while we strengthen our host and weaken Rhaenyra's support on the mainland. We will deal with it in the Riverlands in time. Don't you agree, my king? Oh, lose your shit, mate. Lose your shit, but take it out on them, not 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 other people. <laughs> With anything of note, discuss the council. Damon having seized Harren Hall and his grace's resulting displeasure. Sir Kristen wins every challenge he faces there. That truth alone is light to incite Rhaenyra's fury. If I may be so bold, my queen, you have not seemed yourself of late. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive and the realm was at peace. God, it's only been weeks. <laughs> I barely had the hours to grieve one tragedy before suffering the next. I regret if I have not been myself. I did not know you shared your lord husband's love for the histories. She's looking up Egon the Conqueror. The prince it was promised. No matter how suited he thought Rhaenyra for the crown, the uh, voices of history, as you say, would have told him how the realm would react to her succession. It's impossible to know what steered his thoughts in those final hours. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish, and so will Egon's. The war will be fought. Many will die. 
the significance of Viserys' intentions tied with him. Mm. So, Aemond. Well, this is a weird check. You. I'm called Alice. Alice. Strong. Oh. Rivers. Bastard. I've come to know the face of tortured rest well enough. Sleep can be thin in this place. Heart trees imbued with the spirits of those oh. who lived long oh, well. before he came. It's said their whispers can still be heard sometimes. Midwife's tale. Oh, the very bed you sleep in was made from such a heart tree. You are a strange kind of... She is a strange woman. So you've come here after quarrelling with your wife. What? You arrive here alone to claim the castle and yet send no ravens. It's a hard thing, I imagine, to give obeisance to one who replaced you as heir. And a woman too, a girl child you bounced on your knee. Who the fuck is this chick? Here, drink this. Need your sleep if you're to win this place to your side. What the fuck is going on with Damon? I'll be no cravings. They must pay for their treachery against the laws of God and against the crown. What might I do for you? It was you who summoned me, Your Grace. I was given to understand that you wanted an army. And you're prepared to march without the leave of your lord. Oh, this isn't real. Oh, we're seeing things. Your grace. And once you and your dragon bring the queen's justice to the Brackens, our armies will be yours. No, Lord, from the crown lands. Is he like being dragged or something? <laughs> Fuck. Resources are certainly grown no more plentiful in the face of the blockade. The command of the blacksmith's armor is in terms for equipment has only grown apace with Sir Criston's army. Kingmaker, they're calling him. And with Aemond and Vagar also at the ready, we are a formidable opponent. You bore me. You all bore me. <laughs> Where are your father's books? I ordered them removed. With no thought to the centuries of knowledge in those pages. <laughs> Fuck. What is it? They don't care what I think. No, they don't. Cole, Aymond, they pursue their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thoughts. What thoughts would you have? Oh! I'm the king. Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? It was my hope that <laughs> once enthroned. You would honour the burden of your new duties in the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Wow. Tread carefully. Or what? I ruled in your father's absence throughout his long illness and Otto Hightower was as cunning a statesman as ever lived. You should humbly be seeking our opinions and counsel. What would you have me do, Mother? Do simply what is needed of you. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, a figurehead. You know, it makes me wonder how long he's going to let that go before he just goes mental. We shall move now and strike by day. They will not expect it. They will not expect it because it is fucking madness. What? Grown tired of living, have you? <laughs> You're afraid, sir. Worse. I'm rational. We advance. <sighs> Where the fuck is Rhaenyra? I'd be getting, you know, as a council, I'd be getting pissed off too. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Cole's host has grown since riding abroad. He raised the levies of both Rosby and Stokeworth and with their combined strength sacked Duskendale. Duskendale. Where have you been these last days? I went to King's Landing. 
To what possible end? To meet Queen Alicent and sue for peace. I needed to know that there was no other path. Now you know? And now I do. Cole's victories have only emboldened him. He marches on Rook's rest. Cole knows we have no army on the mainland. He is brazen. He is daring us to act. We need then to act. send a dragon. Fuck yeah, scene one. I just want to see carnage. I will go. My queen. You cannot. I will not lose dragons to war whilst I hide here in my castle. Our allies raise their banners for you, mother. Send me. No. I will burn Cole's mm. lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the experience. alarm. How is he supposed to get experience? You must send me, Your Grace. Melis is your largest dragon and no stranger to battle. No! I will meet Cole. Fuck no! He's gonna get drunk and take his own dragon? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, he's got cat energy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cats are assholes. I wish only to fight for you. For your claim and mine. I... There's something I need to tell you, Jason. It's a secret. But for Sarah's About Egg on the Conference. And it has passed from king to heir. Oh, Melee's. Yep, he's getting pissed and he's taking his dragon. There's going to be a big dragon fight. Fuck. The Targaryen, who sits the Iron Throne, <laughs> is not just a king or a queen. They are a protector. Oh, Rainies. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. But to unite the realm, I had to send the dragons to war. The horrors I have just loosed cannot be for a crown alone. That is why I must believe what Viserys told me when he named me his heir. What is it? Egon the Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna lose Egon, he's the fucking king. Signal. What signal? All is going to plan. Oh. Oh no. Do they have like scorpions or something? They'll be making them in the fucking forest. <gasps> is that Vega? Oh my god, it is. Oh my god. It's your brother. I'm boss, Vega. See in the hour. Fucking two against one. <gasps> no! Whose dragon is that? His Grace the King's. This was your secret plot, Carl. Nope. I'm just like scared for the dragons <laughs> and and Rainies. Melis is bigger, but that doesn't mean shit. Oh my god. Sunfire! Oh, gross. Oh no! Oh fuck, here comes Vega! <laughs> Oh, 
These poor babies. Thank the gods. Um, are you sure? Take them both out. Wow. I fucking hate this. It's the, it's just the fucking dragons that bloody get the ass end of the deal here. Your grace. Are you okay, Rainis? Please get out of here, please. <gasps> no! I mean, look at the size difference. My God. fucking care about you. Oh his legs, his legs fucked. One more time, fuck off! It's gonna get fucking chomped. Yep, knew it. couldn't you have fucking died so is that Maylis and Sunfire out okay puss I need cuddles mummy's upset the king has fallen we must find him ash that's cool Gonna go and kill him. Oh, the dragon's still alive. Of course, the dagger made it. Where is his grace? Under there. To be fair, that's not really your fault, Christian, Mr. Christian Cole, because he shouldn't have been there. So, is he dead? Um, I couldn't quite see there, like, what Christian Cole was looking at. Maybe I just wasn't looking in the right place. <laughs> place. But, yeah, Amon, totally burning Sunfire and Maylis both. Uh, I don't think he has any qualms about killing his brother. And and like when it, when you really come to think about it, a Aemond is a lot is a lot smarter to be to be the king. I mean, you know the way that his uh, the council and even his mother brother Christian Cole how they all kind of uh, rule King's Landing behind um, Aegon's back. You know, as as Alison said, you know, do the, the best thing that you can do f for everyone is to do nothing. Let everyone else do it. And of course he was going to bloody, you know, kick up kick up a fuss about that. Uh, I <laughs> makes me feel bad because I did say that I wanted him to, you know, fucking go nuts. But I don't think I want... Yeah, I didn't want this. 
I didn't want this only because of the fact that like I said it's the dragons that get the ass end of the deal here you know Sunfire getting fucking burned and, and tore open by um, both Vega and Maylis Maylis dying getting throttled you know when um every time she kept coming back to you know go one more round that that last round I knew that when she went past the bloody the castle that it was she was going to get a fucking titan's death you know um <laughs> I was waiting waiting for the waiting for Vega to come up from from underneath and back you know, that is what happened uh Vega is going to be a, a pain in the ass to take out however it happens uh fucking hated seeing Maylis go out like that I hated seeing Sunfire go out like that I really don't give two shits about Agon um I do care about Rainies. you know she, mm, I knew this was going to happen to her this is the second that she volunteered to go I can only imagine how like Corliss is going to react you know um to her you know she's lost he, he's lost his son um his daughter uh and now his wife uh, and he was already kind of like just barely hanging in there you know oh, I can see him kind of taking this out on um, Rhaenyra's inaction and the rest everyone else is like t being pissed off with Rhaenyra's inaction um, and I get it I, I understand that she wanted to try and do this peacefully but I also understand that her counsel is just like fucking let's do something you know we, we need to do something and and like they took over like the place before Rook's Rest uh and now that they've taken this you have members of her council whose homes these are they're not going to be fucking happy about this and <sighs> I'm just really upset because the dragons copped the 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 raw end of the deal here yeah okay like thousands of people died but I don't care about this <laughs> I don't care about them. I care about the dragons. And whatever the hell is going on with Damon, he needs to get his fucking shit together. He's, you know, in Harren Hall, fucking tripping balls, um, and everyone's fucking dying. Um, this this episode has just left me pissed off, to be honest, because not only did we lose Rene uh, Rhaenyra, um, Rhaenys, who I absolutely loved, we lost Maylis as well. <sighs> and for what? Nothing really good came out of it. At least fucking Aegon dies. You know, the king said, whoop do fucking shit. Now you've got, what? Well, oh, my God, I guess it, no, can't even pass down to, can't even pass down to his son because his son's dead. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. Would that, would that leave Aemond on, Aemond on the throne? Would he be, you know, have a claim to it? <sighs> fuck, who knows? Anyway. We're going to leave it there for today. Thanks for watching with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more. What are we watching? <laughs> I was going to say Game of Thrones. House of the Dragon. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.